you've finished defining your workflow. Time to pat yourself on the back and move on to the second step, visualization. In this step, you'll visualize what your workflow looks like by creating a process map. Let's dive right in. A process map visually shows the steps of a process and how the data flows within it. Simply put, process maps allow you to take something complex and simplify it by visualizing it. You don't always need to create a process map if you have a very simple workflow. However, the logic will still help you to define it better. To create a process map, we use shapes to represent the steps and arrows to represent the flow of data. Each aspect of the process is represented by a shape. The shapes we'll use are an oval to represent the start and end of our process, a rectangle to represent the steps which our entities go through, a diamond to represent any decision points, and arrows to represent the connection between the steps and to show the direction the data flows. Let's look back at the answers to the questions in the previous video to build Patricia's process map. The process starts when the application is submitted by the applicant. Then, I review it. If the applicant is over 21, they move to the next step, a phone interview. If not, they are disqualified. This is the first decision point in the process. If the applicant passes the phone interview, I'll send them to the doctor for a physical evaluation. If not, I'll disqualify the applicant. If the applicant passes their physical evaluation, they are sent for a wellness review. If they fail, they'll be disqualified. If the applicant passes the wellness review, they qualify entering the lottery. If not, the applicant is then disqualified. And finally, I run the lottery and get the results of which applicants will join each of the launches and those who didn't win a spot on any. Now we see our full process map. Let's wrap it up. We've identified our workflow. We've defined the process. We have built the process map to visualize the steps of the process. And now we can finally build it on Monday.com. Before we do, we recommend you practice building your own process map. Are you ready to try it?